Good morning, we're gonna do a forward reverse and expansion tank purge. This is our test station. As you can tell, it's running right now, stroking every few seconds. Barometer's got liquid in it, and we're gonna do a forward purge. So the first thing we're gonna do is stop the odorizer. So from the controller, the technician told it to stop, stop pumping yes. Then we scroll down to the meter level window. Now we're gonna close V6 on our expansion tank. As you can tell, it's a little difficult to get to here in our shop. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use valve 4, the gold valve, and increase our pressure to about 55 to 60 pounds in the expansion tank from the barometer through the pump back into our storage tank. Now the technician's opening valve 2 and watching the meter level. Meter level's dropping. When the meter level gets to empty, we're going to see it bounce here on the screen in the middle it's bounced he's closing valve two and now we're going to start on to our reverse purge we ask the controller to fill and fill varometer yes that opens our fill valve down here and allows the odorant to flow from the varometer back through the fill valve back into our bulk filter and back into our storage tank the next step in our procedure is going to be to do an expansion tank purge okay so we still have pressure on our gauge for our expansion tank. We're going to move around to the back to the expansion tank and open valve 14. Valve 14 is located on the bottom of your expansion tank. You're going to open valve 14 until you hear bubbling in your storage tank. As soon as you hear that bubbling or gurgling sound in your storage tank, you close valve 14. And now we're going to isolate that with valve 17 and then we're going to Use V5, V2, and V3 to blow all the pressure we use to purge with out of the system. Now we've completed our complete forward, reverse, and expansion tank purge, done our system maintenance, so now it's time to get the system started back up. In order to do that, we need to get the valves in the correct position. We're going to close valves 2, 3, and 5. We're going to reintroduce pressure to the expansion tank with valve four. And we're gonna open valve six, again on the back of the expansion tank. Okay, now that that's done, we're gonna open valve 17. Go ahead and close your V9 valve all the way and then open it a turn and a half to get you started. We're gonna to go to the meter level window and ask it to fill and fill varometer yes. When the meter level comes up to zero or just above, it's gonna stop and you're gonna to have to ask it to fill and fill varometer yes one more time. At this point, the level will start to come up on the barometer and we're gonna adjust V9 so we get three to 4% increments or it fills in 30 to 45 seconds now that our varometer is full. And to prime our pump, we're gonna open valve three all the way, and we're gonna hit the test button two or three times watching the meter level goes down. Okay, our meter level is going down, so we're gonna close valve three. We're gonna proceed up arrow to the main screen, tell it to start. It's gonna refill the meter to 100%, proportional to, flow and start pump yes and now we've restarted our system it's up and running normally and there's no alarms